suffocated, didn't he? She asks. It was suicide, wasn't it? I know that asking questions like this is in her job description. Still, the words suffocated and suicide roll across the room like bowling balls to my feet, probably squish a toe or two. And I came into the New Jersey farmlands to do this with tear ducts like time bombs. I am sitting on Jamie the medium's couch trying to answer her questions when I feel it begin. Three, two, one. She is not phased though. She grabs the box of Kleenex from behind her without even looking. Her house must be an incredibly well-decorated bomb shelter. Now, my cheeks are stained with oil spills, salt and eyeliner mixed together. I am shaking from the neck down like San Francisco remembering the year 1906. The night of my uncle's death lingers at the front door and begs for closure. Closure like caskets at the end of a funeral, only my uncle was never in a casket. He was divided up into three urns, each as blue as my family's idea of the ocean. The time bombs go off, but we manage to continue. Jamie, the medium, and my uncle David, two strangers on either side of the sky, they work together. David feeds details to Jamie I didn't think anybody else knew, like the letters he, I wrote to him two years after he killed himself in sparkly red ballpoint pen ink, or the necklace of his that my mother gave me silver, the pendant de de depicting Saint Dymphna, the patron saint for the nervous, or the tree in Illinois planted in his honor a year after he died. He knows about all of that. And he repeats to me apologies I had only ever heard in my imagination. <sighs> he says in the afterlife, he feels limitless. Limitless does not come without regrets. He wants a do-over, one where he holds on to the rest of that night for dear life. It would have made all of the difference. When the half hour is up, all I can say in farewell to my uncle is I love you and thank you for coming. I hug Jamie the medium with black dampened tissues in each hand. I leave the New Jersey farmlands with doubt. As if that last half hour was just a fever dream. It didn't happen. But I also leave with closure. Not closure like caskets. Closure like life-saving surgery. Thank you.